What began as a protest outside Britain's diplomatic headquarters in Iran became an assault on what demonstrators called a den of spies. Some officers appeared to just look on as protesters smashed the symbols of Britain's presence in Iran. Police say they chased dozens of people off the premises and fired tear gas to control the crowd. The Basij University students had gathered demanding that the Iranian government sever all relations with Britain and expel its ambassador. We want to show to the entire world our hatred for the British and the American governments. We are here to close the British embassy forever, as this place is like the US embassy, a center for spying and should be shut down. After this break-in, Iran said in a statement that it regretted what had happened and that it is committed to diplomats' safety. But Britain said it was outraged. It amounts to a grave breach of the Vienna Convention, which requires the protection of diplomats and diplomatic premises under all circumstances. We hold the Iranian government responsible for its failure to take adequate measures to protect our embassy as it is required to do. With this embassy attack, relations between the UK and Iran hit a new low. Britain recently announced new sanctions to punish Iran for its missile programme which it says is a veiled attempt to develop a nuclear weapon. Iran hit back by passing a bill on Sunday to downgrade ties with the UK. There were reports that these protesters briefly held a group of embassy staff hostage. That brought back uncomfortable memories of 1979, when Iranian students stormed the US embassy and captured 52 Americans. But this attack wasn't another Iran hostage crisis. Instead, it was a reminder of the dangerous tensions that exist between the West and Tehran. Will Jordan, Al Jazeera.